All right, so the seed, that's the uh, fifth uh, track. It's called a bunch of stuff. At some point it was called Believers. Obviously the chorus has that in there. Or or no, the, the, just the lyrics are more towards the, but it was too obvious. And um, some I always, I always refer to it as the Foo Fighters song. The Foo Fighters song, yeah. <laughs> Is uh, rocking, but also I think this is this is also one of uh, like an old idea that we had that the main dynamic of it was to go from zero to sixty like like that and come back. So the whole vibe of it <clears throat> is really just the the outbreaks of these. So yeah, so that was really cool to do because the vision was there. And I remember while mixing it, it was really, you know, trying to get the the two, the two sides of the, the, the drums, which is like the verse, very organic, kind of low, a lot of like the snares up, and uh, very intimate, but still kind of roomy, but small room, you know. But then the big ones come in. The reverbs come in to play, you know, it's hard hitting snares. Um, so that's that was kind of the vibe of it. And also this we had this forever, like the stacking of some Ebo tones. They kind of grow. So like throughout the song you'll hear like harmonies of them. But, um, yeah, so, basically not a lot, like, like drums and like this one guitar. Very simple, very delicate vocals. So like everything's dry and intimate and once the chorus or whatever the strong parts come in, it's like very, very uh, delayed and reverb. You have this thing that we kind of I think in the demos this was much more upfront, but we kind of pushed it back in the mix because we when we played it we wanted the the like the real kind of band feeling to go forward. This is there to like spice it up. Second course has this cool uh, part because we kind of lay low on it. Yeah, so the drums. You could really hear like, like in the mix, we really automated all the snares to like you really hear all that ghost note stuff going on. Yeah, I think each course on this song is there's always a tiny little difference from you know between each of those choruses. We wanted to keep it dynamic, add little things, make it a little interesting, and you know just a little breathe in a way maybe you won't usually hear in pop songs. I like to do that. Yeah. So the bass, the bass here sounds really great. See, throughout the whole record, like with the bass, I remember I went to um, Or Applebaum. Um, he mastered this eventually, but he did like the process on all the bass parts, and they really kind of brought them out and uh, made them fuller. 
Um, I, I really wanted the bass to be very prominent on this one. And, um, and at some point I didn't think it was going to happen, but uh, it took a few tries, like mixing the songs until we nailed the real, the where it is now, you know, it felt it was, it was great. These also are from the demos, like super fuzzed. What is that? It's like an homage to circus dance. We use the same riff here. We have a special guest on this one. <laughs> yeah, so this break part was interesting because we had basically what we had in this part we wanted to do, um, it was this. That's what we had. And it's cool, like the drums here are filtered. They really go into this. You know, you can really feel, feel filter and once they, they kind of pick up. It's cool. Here like the rooms and reverbs. And they come into the next part. So basically we had just this part. And at some point, um, good friend of mine that I used to play with, Iran Mittelman, was uh, was staying at my place. And he's one of the most brilliant uh, pianists and keyboard players that I've ever met. Gifted. And very gifted. So we just, he just laid down, you know, I just gave him the part and looped it and he came up with these parts and they were on the demos and, and they stayed with us throughout all the stages. So we added this piano part, like a delayed piano thing going. And then there's a rose here going. It's together. It's like a weird note going there. It just felt so good. Yeah, it has a nice feel to it. So really, you know, just changed everything because because from having like this thing, just just you know, just vibing out and whatever, and then you have this whole thing. So it really made the part. So it was really cool. Just a bunch of filtered vocals. stuff it's a bunch of yellow and then this part this is like totally probably the the funnest we've ever had playing like jam What I like about this is the guitars go up high and the bass kind of stays low and it really has a nice warm feel to it. Great tone. Another chorus. Another beat we programmed and then it went close. Another homage to Circus Dance. That's like super Queens of the Stone Age licks going on here. That I don't know, we just came up with this cool. So it comes out of like these, the, the lead twisted kind of sound. And then they each kind of play a harmony part. And then the best part of all. Cool. 
had some double kick, kick drum action. That almost doesn't happen in a drugstore fanatic song. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs>